Hardy passed away, uh, Calgary Herald uh, wrote an article referred to him as uh, Mr. Calgary. He was just a naturally, amazingly caring and giving person. Dad was a hard worker, and I think we all noticed that when he was, uh, when we were younger. He would say to us as we got older, you know, like, you gotta look after your family, but when the, the time comes, you gotta, uh, you know, support your community. Our dad was approached to, if he would put, if he would put his name on this, um, or be the champion of a new brain institute that would encompass neurological research and education and mental health. The Brain Institute became one of his favorite projects because it allowed him to work with so many to do what he thought was most important. The two people that came to him with the idea were Jack Davis and Chen Fong, whom he has great respect for. They put Sam Weiss's name in front of him, and once they met, then I think it was kind of a done deal. I think Harley saw in me what I saw in him, which was a partner, a complementary person with the same ideals but with unique skill sets. And we put our skill sets together and I think it's fair to say for a bunch of years we were unstoppable. What I think is unique about the Hotchkiss Brain Institute and Calgary in general is the innovation spirit. Um, it's an incredibly powerful combination to be so leading edge, entrepreneurial, um, along with the amazing uh, talent uh, of research that's uh, contained within the Hotchkiss. It's a powerful combination. We've seen some breathtaking achievements at the HBI. Real impact on people's lives. It's, it's just, you're right, it just takes, takes your breath away. I, I say it's a, it's a gift he's given us to be able to, to try and carry, carry that on. Almost magical how some of these uh, innovations have helped people. And you could just see Harley beaming with joy that he was helping put science, knowledge to action to improve people's health outcomes. Every day, my researchers come to me with ideas that they have in exploring new ways to treat Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or um, ways to actually regain mobility after spinal cord injury. These are kinds of approaches that I think would have been very difficult to imagine a couple decades ago. Yeah. I think he, uh, <clears throat> he also really enjoyed meeting the, the people, yes. the researchers. He connected with them, right? And he came in and spent enormous amounts of time here. He spent time with students, he spent time in labs, he spent time in clinics. He gave us more time, ultimately, for the Brain Institute than anything else. His actions, everything is about the, the greater good, the greater community. It just inspires so many people. He lent his name in order to allow community and citizenry to meet science and medicine. It's been incredibly obvious to me that his spirit lives on both within the Hotchkiss Brain Institute and the community. I think towards the, the end of his life, he, um, the HBI was probably the most important endeavor. He was it. He was the real deal. Unforgettable. Nobody ever liked him again. <laughs>